Yo, new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, share this shit, gang. Hey, real quick, though. R.I.P. Duke 039, the jeweler. This situation kind of shitty, because... Okay, Boosie, we, we just gonna get straight into it. Ain't nobody stupid, folk. Like, <laughs> you talking about this man just walked into the parking lot and you heard shots go off. First off, why is this man down there with you? Like, you said he was finna make you a piece. He was only in Texas because of you. And you telling me, like, you wasn't looking out for this man. He by himself. He got a million dollars worth of jewelry, bag full of a couple hundred thousand on him. And he just randomly gets robbed. Like, if a nigga come anywhere with me, he I'm responsible for him. That's how a real nigga go play it. Everybody probably don't feel the same way, but if, I, if I'm if i in Miami, I tell you to come to Miami, it's my job, you know what I'm saying, to, to make sure you straight. For the most part, I can't do everything for you, but for shit like that, you come out to a, you know what I'm saying, to a dice game, I'm making sure you straight. Nah, don't move. Shorty, don't walk to your car yet. Let him and him walk you with these poles. You see what I'm saying? Like, so that type of shit wouldn't happen. And that's why you do that type of shit. So that shit will happen to do won't happen to a motherfucker. Like, but folks think we dumb or some shit. Cause like he trying to play crazy, play, play stupid and shit. Like, you know exactly what happened to that man. Now you might've inadvertently just let it happen, but you could have stopped it. You probably didn't directly say rob him, but you could have stopped that shit gang. Like, that's fucked up. I know what it is, though. You thought Duke wouldn't go have no steppers, you know what I'm saying, speak up for him. Like, you just thought he was a nigga that made jewels. He was going to die, and it was over with. That ain't the case, because niggas in the city, like, they finna step the boosie for that shit. Like, it's finna be some, a whole different type of situation transpire about that. Like, boosie damn near finna not be good in the Midwest in a minute. Like, hey. You made your bed, you're lying. It, like, we know what Boosie known for. And it's not him. He he never was known for doing shit himself. Like, he always had somebody else doing shit for him, like Marlo Mike. See what I'm saying? Like, so, niggas give Boosie this invisible-ass G-Pass. I'm like, folks, like, I, we don't respect the nigga who, who, who got a bag and, and tell niggas what to go do. We respect the actual nigga who doing it, so... I never, for that reason alone, I never, even back then when Boosie was popping, I never was really, I'm like, mm, seemed like a mascot to me. I don't know. Hey, like his music though, but mm, so be, like you could just tell with some of these niggas who really, you know what I'm saying? All these niggas rapping that gangster shit, but we know who doing what and who not doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, at least I do. But yeah, man, OIP Duke the Jeweler, man. That's a fucked up situation, man. Came down here fucking with your weird ass, and I done got, you know what I'm saying, knelt to the motherfucking cross. But I also, Duke shouldn't have been, he shouldn't have been moving like that because he from the street. So you know you not supposed to be nowhere. You just thinking there's all money around. You know there's wolves around too. So you got to take, he, he got to take accountability on his part of the situation. I wouldn't even been moving like that. You ain't got no pole on you. Like, nah. That's 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 crazy, man. But yeah, y'all jump in that comment box, man. Let me know how y'all feel about this situation. Y'all think Boosie sent that hit, or you think Boosie people just took it upon themselves and Boosie was like, I don't care, I ain't got shit to do with me. Or you think it was just a random act of violence. Gang.